This is Lesson 5.1c for Grade 7 Math using a percent of change. If we're given an original amount and a percent increase or decrease, we can use the percent of change to find the new amount. 105 increased by 25%. Remember, 25% is 0.25 as a decimal. We find the 25% of 105 by multiplying them, and we use that 0.25 as the percentage written as a decimal. 105 times 0.25 is 26.25. Remember, if there's two hops in the equation, there's going to be two decimal hops in the product, won't there? You can do this on your calculator quickly, too. 105 plus the 26.25 gives us 131.25. We add it because it's an increase. We multiply the 105 by the 0.25 to find the amount of change. Then we add the amount of change to the original amount to find the new increased amount. Let's try a decrease. $299 decreased by 10%. So if we had a $299 coat that was on sale for 10% off, we would do $299 times 0 0.10. That would be the 10%. When we multiply it, we get $29.90. Now, because it's a decrease, we're going to subtract it from the original amount, $299, and we get $269.10. That's the sale price. Now, if it was $299 increased by 10%, that was a decrease, we would do the same thing we did over here to find the amount of change, but because it's an increase, we would add it to the $299. And that would give us $328.90. The amount of change is the same after we multiply. It's whether we add or subtract that makes the difference, if it's an increase or decrease. If we have 12 weeds in our garden and it's increased by 150%, how many weeds do we have now? We do the 12 weeds, the original amount, times 1.5 because that's 150% written as a decimal. We get 18. We add the 12 weeds to the 18 weeds, and we find out that there's 30 weeds now in the garden. If we have a house that's $150,000 in value, and it decreases by 5%, we can find the new value of the house. $150,000 times 0 0.05, that's 5% as a decimal. We get $7,500. We subtract, because it's a decrease, the $7,500 from the $150,000 and find out that the new adjusted value of the house is $142,500. We add the amount of change for an increase. We subtract the amount of change for a decrease. If we have five hours increased by 75%, well, 75% is 0.75 as a decimal. We multiply it by the original amount, 5 hours, and we get 3.75 hours. We add the 5 hours, the original amount, with the 3.75, the amount of change, and the new amount is 8.75 hours. We can even take this a little step further. We know 0.75 is 3 fourths, right? And 3 fourths of an hour is 45 minutes. So that means it's 8 hours and 45 minutes. A shirt price was $24, and it was increased by 100%. 100% written as a decimal is just a 1. If you have 100% of a candy bar, you have one whole candy bar, don't you? So we do the 24 times 1. That's 24. We add it to the original amount of 24, and we get $48. So remember to use the same units of measures. If we have 3 hours to a half hour, that's going to be 3 hours to 0.5 hour. Don't turn it into minutes, okay? Keep your measures the same. So notice how I didn't change it to minutes until the very, very end. So it was still written as a decimal as 8.75 hours. Now, if you're very confused and you missed some videos, you can check this video's description. and There'll be links to the grade 7 videos, the previous ones of 5.1a and 5.1b, where we first started talking about increases and decreases, all right? So that's in the description for your help, all right? So now you know how to use the percent of change to find an increase or a decrease. 
and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.